In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can bypass a starter motor relay. This is a very useful and effective method of doing some simple component testing or bypassing certain areas to see if your starter motor will engage. This is one I used in the workshop this week when this fault was presented. And as you could see in that last clip, the engine was not starting, the starter motor was not engaging. We had that clicking type noise and we knew that the battery was fully charged. So I decided to locate the starter motor relay and bypass it to see if the vehicle would start. Before you do this test, you want to make sure that the safety is on point. You want to have your park brake engaged. You also want to make sure in an automatic that it's in park or neutral. In a manual, it must be in neutral. You do not want the vehicle to jump forward if it's in gear. Once you have that done, you switch the ignition on, engine off. So key on, engine off, so the lights will be on in the dash. And then you go to terminals 30 and 87 on your starter motor relay and using a single wire you will jump across mm -hmm. those terminals. Once the vehicle starts or once you have finished with the amount of cranking you want to do you remove the wire so this method has many benefits for if you find yourself trying to diagnose a fault on a vehicle, whether it's a no start issue, whether you just want to confirm the starter is okay or the starter is no good, whether you want to do some component testing on the vehicle as well. That's another method that this can be used for. So if you are diagnosing a vehicle by yourself under the bonnet, and you want to do let's say a compression test you can use this method as well without sitting into the vehicle turning the key on and off and getting getting in and out same thing applies for if you're doing the likes of spark tests or if you're doing uh, injector pulse tests all of those methods can be used by just simply bypassing that relay and touching it on and off I really hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help the video to be seen by more people. If you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate if you did. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.